I went back through all the case studies that I've done and I cannot believe I haven't done this type of case yet. So tonight we have an 80 year old man who comes to my office with complaints of back pain and pain that goes down both legs. Now this has actually been going on for a number of years, but it's just gotten worse to the point where now if he walks like 100 feet, he has to stop and take a break due to this type of pain. Now this pain that's in his back and he walks a long distance, it starts traveling down his legs, but he does notice that when he uses a grocery cart and leans over it for assistance, it seems to make it a little easier and he can walk a lot farther. Now, why would that be? His primary care physician ordered an MRI of his low back and here are the findings. So what's the diagnosis and why did I mention the grocery cart? What are the treatment options for this condition and are there any surgeries that can help with this? As always, I'll explain everything tomorrow. Yesterday, I presented the case of an 80 year old man who presented to my office with years of difficulty walking and pain that starts in his back and goes down both legs. I mentioned that whenever he goes to the grocery store, he does find relief and can actually walk a little bit further if he's leaning over a grocery cart. Here is the MRI scan. And basically what we see is areas of spinal stenosis here and here. This is a model of our spine. So it sits in our body like this, with this being the pelvis and this being the lumbar spine. And if we look straight down, there's a center canal right here where all the nerves travel that go down into your legs. Now this is what a normal spinal canal should look like. And then a canal that has stenosis or narrowing. So you can see the difference. I've gone through with you guys on how to read a lumbar MRI in the past, but these are the bones that are in our body here. And then these are the discs or the cushions that sit between our bones. And then this is the spinal canal where the nerves are. So the white is the spinal fluid and these gray things are the nerves. So you can see right here and right here, it's kind of narrow. Now what I tell my patients is that as we age, our spine ages with us. And if we look at any MRI in anyone over the age of 50, whether they're having back pain or not, almost 95% of us will have some type of degenerative changes within our spine. So basically this is a really common condition that we see in the spine. And this particular case, the patient has symptoms of neurogenic claudication. Essentially, that means when the patient walks for a prolonged distance, their legs start to feel painful and weak and wobbly, and they can get relief by taking a break. They can also get relief by leaning over a grocery cart because when you flex your spine, you will open up that channel where all the nerves travel and give you some relief of that stenosis. Now, in cases of mild to moderate spinal stenosis, these may respond to conservative treatment options such as anti-inflammatory medications and physical therapy like traction. In addition to that, sometimes epidural steroid injections can really help alleviate some of that inf inflammation within the spine and give patients some relief. Surgery to treat this condition is called a spinal laminectomy, where we remove a portion of the lamina to alleviate pressure on the nerves within the spine. This is one of the most common procedures that I do in my practice, and we can do it through a minimally invasive approach. Basically, we can do all that in the video through a tiny 18 millimeter incision and the patient goes home the same day. Usually the patients wake up with almost instantaneous relief of their symptoms and it's a very gratifying and rewarding procedure. See you guys next week.